Hi everybody and welcome back. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at a pre-prohibition classic that has gained a ton of popularity recently, The Last Word. In this video we're going to take a look at the cocktail family that it kind of sits inside of. We're going to make the drink and stay tuned to the very end because we're going to use that cocktail family structure to make our own fun and potentially weird variation on this delicious classic. Hi everybody, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and delicious cocktails. Now we're gonna make the last word here in a moment, but before we do, let's quickly talk about the cocktail family that the last word lives inside of. And this is where things are gonna get a little tricky. Now, if there are any Game of Thrones fans out there, this is absolutely the cocktail embodiment of Jon Snow. It comes from a couple different families, it gets a little obscure, and it truly is a badass cocktail that everybody should try. Now, the families that it kind of gets mixed up in is a sour, an improved cocktail, potentially even a daisy, and it lands somewhere near a Krusta-style cocktail. Now, let's go ahead and revisit the structure of a sour and kind of show you the ingredients that we're working with here. So a sour is typically a base spirit, acid, and sweetener. With this particular format, what we have is a base spirit, our sweetener is getting replaced by two different liqueurs to add a ton of complexity into this cocktail and we still have our acid. So that is the structure of this particular cocktail. And there's no better way to demonstrate this than to make one together. So let's go ahead and make the Jon Snow of cocktails, the last word. And there we have it, the last word. So now let's go ahead and taste the last word. Cheers, everyone. Wow, that is such an amazing cocktail. It is so powerful. There's so much flavor in here. And on paper, the ingredients don't make sense. But when you put it in a glass, it has so many layers, um, vegetal notes in there, the gin just kind of comes shining through, and that acid makes it nice and bright. This is a very powerful and very, very, complex cocktail. It's delicious. Now that we've tasted the last word and we understand kind of the structure of it, let's go ahead and use that structure to make our own fun cocktail. So what we have here is a nice collection of ingredients. So this is going to be our base spirit, is our uh, mezcal, and this product in particular is probably the best substitute I've found for green chartreuse. It has a lot of that intensity. It's kind of a good balance between green and yellow. So if you find this product out on the market, buy it. You're gonna love it, it's super good. And then also from them, we have a really delicious pineapple amaro. So we're gonna put all these ingredients together to make our last word variation. And so the recipe we're using is the exact same. We're just doing an equal part cocktail all the way across. And finally, your lime juice for balance. And for the garnish, maraschino cherry. Cheers, everyone. And now let's go ahead and taste our creation. Cheers, everyone. That is super good. You definitely get that chartreuse kind of vibe going on there. Nice and bright. The mezcal gives it a little bit of a smoky kind of flavor to it. It's a really, really delicious cocktail. It tastes the same as the last word from a structural standpoint, but the flavor profile is very, very different. And that pineapple is definitely coming through. This is. These are both fantastic cocktails. 
So there we have it. We have made the last word. We've talked about the cocktail family that it kind of lives inside of, and we've used that same cocktail family structure to make a fun and delicious variation. We would love to find out what your favorite variation of the last word is in the comments below. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and we will keep you updated with any future cocktail releases we have just like this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite variation of the last word. Cheers.